The house is located at the end of a cul-de-sac on this amazing promontory. And from the street level, we have this gate opening up to the garage that's on the lower level, which will turn a bit. And we All these houses have garages like that, where it goes down. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, like, how is that efficient to get a very expensive car over this bump here? Especially if it's a lowered car. See your parking. And that opening also leads you to chef's kitchen in the lower level. And now let's talk about this huh. beautiful modern architecture. Vertical steel panels. This is a really cool this house. Massive board form concrete wall right in the center. Again, it's a beautiful modern architecture. We have this walkway right here that takes you to the main entry. And as you come up to the entry, we have beautiful limestone floors. Everything is nicely hedged. And this is really interesting. We have this freestanding steel panel in this gorgeous orange color. Okay, I don't like the orange. <laughs> Same but at least he got the color right this time. I also think that looks ugly as hell. All right, everyone. Here we are at the entry. Same why? color. Continue. Why? Why does it have the, the, the arch thing right there on both sides? It's so dumb looking. Right in front of me, we have the family room and the kitchen. And it starts right here. Okay, that's Same a really nice floors, kitchen. The entry is also so far. Here, wood panel ceilings, walls of glass looking towards the amazing views. On this side, we have these. Okay, they have, they have outlets over here, it looks like. Panel ceilings, walls on of the glass counter. The so that makes views. more sense than side, putting it these... on the wall. Because my counter space in my apartment, uh, it has two outlets. One doesn't work. And then... There's one in a random spot, and then there's another another counter space on the other side that doesn't have an outlet, which sucks because there's no way to put an appliance there. Bifolding louvers on the exterior that serves as a sunshade, which looks incredible, and we'll talk oh, more that's about cool. that later in the video because they are throughout. And this TV actually has an automatic cover as well, in case you don't want to see your TV, have that minimalist look. That's also that. cool. But they couldn't have gotten a bigger TV. I mean, this is a 54 or almost $55 million house. You'd think there would be a space for a bigger TV. Now on, now on this side, we have the kitchen. Gorgeous cabinetry, nice contrast between the wood tones and the darker tones on the island and the base cabinets right there. Massive island right in the center with natural stone countertops. Book match right in the center. We have island seating on the other side. Again, from your kitchen, you'll look at the amazing views of the ocean, Century City, all the way to Wilshire Corridor. This that is really cool having like a wine wine cellar type thing right in the middle of your kitchen. This is incredible. Yeah, you're flowing. I'm, I'm having trouble cutting in here for lines. It, 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 there's a lot to talk about. We have a lot house. to talk about in this house. There's a lot of really cool details and like a lot of really unique. He's like, you bitch. You just stole my thunder. I was going to say that. Look at his face. He's so... He's so fucking pissed off right now. Unique, uh, really unique, <laughs> Look at his face. I don't want to say architecture. Really unique, like gadgets, gadgets. and yeah, like windows and Detail. we have some stuff in the backyard. We'll see in a little while that I've never seen on any other house in LA. This tour. He's like, bro, stop talking. It, this is my show. It's not gonna be. Of course, gotta have him. Gotta have him. Melee dishwasher right here. Same counter That was top. so we slow. We love these details too. Pop up plug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's opening we again. Got, you know, induction cooktop. And I know we talk about these all the time. Is it time? I think it's the time. What? So, there you go. We talk about these uh, coffee makers. Me and Mikey always say that these are our favorite. This one is actually a little bit more of the high end side, right? We have the seamless look of this kind of faucet design i guess and everything else what? underneath the cabinet and there you go this is how you make your espresso yeah uh can i have one it's been a long time coming we've uh, gotten comments we've talked about it we've always wanted to make one of these cheers everyone the f first day we make one of these is probably the day you don't need any caffeine though i mean it's, it's pretty good and before we leave the kitchen i want to come right here and i want to talk about this wine wall temperature control with the leather pouches. Looks incredible. Yeah, it's really nice. Now, let me take you guys around while I'm drinking my espresso. We have the pantry space right here, and around the corner, we have the chef's kitchen. This kitchen has it all. Same style cabinets are also brought here that goes all the way up. Okay, now, okay, so I said in the last video, I didn't understand why they have a chef's kitchen. 
And this one looks so much different. I can tell I can tell the reason why. Like they have industrial grade equipment and um materials and stuff. Like they they can make exactly what you want it exactly the way you want it. So I guess I understand more than how I understood in the last video. Except for the ceiling. By the way, I gotta show this. You didn't even show that what that uh, seamless doors that, that room kind of closes off certain sections of the house. This is one of them, and as we go, what it goes into the wall. I was not expecting that. The house. This is one of them. <laughs> and as we I didn't even see an opening for that to go into the wall. Go back. That's so cool. On my right, back to the entry. This is really unique. The steel clad, kind of a hidden door, opens up to the powder room on this level. You try to show someone where the the bathroom is, they're gonna be like, What the fuck do you mean? Where's the bathroom? Over here on this wall? Like I don't see a door here. And then you're gonna open this and they're gonna feel silly. I'm just in a silly, goofy mood. It's like it's so ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. I love But this is a nice bathroom. Walls with this I don't even know what kind of finish this is, but it looks so. And on the other side, we have the formal dining room area. This room is all open. Pretty it's boring. It's natural light, and it flows Actually. to the family room that is currently opening up to the backyard, which will. I don't know why bit. it's but why really it's so boring, but it is. The, from the interiors. I would have laughed if he bonked his head like a fucking stormtrooper. Side, which is amazing, and you open up this entire space to the outdoors. I mean, this is incredible. There's, because he wanted to leave this section all open. It gets cold at night in LA? I did not know that. He actually designed this with the architect, really unique arm that kicks out. Holy shit, that's cool. Right here on top of the dining room table so you can have a cozy and comfortable uh, dining experience. That's pretty this cool. Is, this is uh, incredible. It's mind boggling, some would say. It actually rises about a foot, foot and a half, so you can actually sit down have a nice comfortable meal holy crap like everything is electronic or pulley this is like kind of crazy uh dinner i love stuff like this this is amazing yeah it's really cool all right let me take you guys back so if you just like pull one of the pulleys does it just like break <laughs> again we have the secondary pool right there technically this is actually like a two uh, two pools I wish I could say I have a secondary pool. <sighs> I'll talk about that later, but this section continues, same hardwood floors. I wish I could say I have ocean views from here. At Missouri. A bit? I can't, I can't imagine trying to sleep in in this house. You're just blasted with sunlight. I, all times throughout and just like the rest Ooh, what was that what is that why does that exist what the hell all right everyone here we are at the lower level now before we start our tour here i want to talk about this amazing steel staircase design oh i would spend all of my time down here you kind of have this screen design on the right hand side and these steel threads that looks like angle irons actually are bolted to the concrete uh, board from concrete walls looks stunning and we have these very elegant wood threads that was dropped on those angle irons the whole thing is steel clad and again this board from concrete wall gives it a nice texture as you come down oh yeah make sure guys make sure you subscribe to me to the lower level now let's do Oh, that is an ugly rug. We have a Why is that a rug? Oh, this is nice. Utility room here that you can access every little thing you need. I love these rooms. It's a nice access to have. And this door opens up to the spacious guest suite or the maid's quarters. That's really level. cool. Small I would setup just live the entry, here. <laughs> and we have the kitchenette here. I would have this giant fucking house and I would live here. I say kitchenette, but this kitchen has pretty much everything you need. The gas stove, microwave, uppers, sink setup, dishwasher, and your fridge. And this room was designed in a way, if you have 
maids or people working uh, for you in this house. They can stay here. They can kind of have their own kitchen and their own living room zone. Okay, this, but this place is bigger than the, like my actual apartment. Right around the corner, we have the bedroom for this guest suite. Starts here, Mikey. Let's oh, there's the more. First. King size bed, nice spacious room. <sighs> closets on this side and we even get a small exterior door that opens up to the covered patio this bedroom is as big as my kitchen here. is anyone ever gonna like when they live here are they ever gonna have all those lights on at the same time i sure hope not we have oh yeah by the way those switches yeah the random switches in the house those are from france theater okay your seating wolf consoles on the wall made sure we covered that above lighting by the way if you didn't see at the beginning Goofy, uh, entrance. <laughs> really? I was gonna say, I know our audience is going to say this is just like, uh, Batman, Christian Bale's Batman. Uh Enough with the Batman references. Every video, it's like, oh, this is like Batman. Uh, lighting they have in like Dark Knight and stuff. I can see that. I don't know why, but like, I, there's another YouTuber out there that has this for a studio. And I've always just thought this is the coolest looking lighting that you can have. Honestly, it makes everything look so much better, including the cars. Let's do a quick rundown. Uh, we got a Chevy Camaro, I believe, SS. I could be wrong on these cars. Mercedes 250 SE, like this thing a lot. We got an uh, E-Class station wagon. I believe that's Dodge, Challenger, Porsche, and a Ferrari 458. I guess if you know, then you know. Then you know. Now, if you know, you know. These sliding you know. glass doors open up. A ton of details, but first, Mikey, I need you to come back to the other side. I mentioned it earlier. A lot of these refrigerator drawers, right? Another one. Refrigerator doors? Is that what you just said? I mentioned it earlier. A lot of these refrigerator drawers. Refrigerator drawers. <laughs> right? Another one right here. Since there's an office. This is pretty cool. Nice little coffee bar, wet bar. And we like these refrigerator doors. doors. That tucks into the walls. Nice addition. I'm jealous of this uh, office. This is pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, my, this outdoor space is incredible. It's really elevated and it actually kicks out all the way to the edge of the property line. Okay, so when it rains, I've never understood this. I know it doesn't rain a lot in LA, but when it does, what do you do with your couch? What do you do with any of this stuff, really? Hollywood Hills, downtown LA, Century City, Wilshire Corridor, Ocean. It's breathtaking. Mind right in the center, we have a steel fire pit, seating area. This is a great place to sit down, watch a movie, enjoy. Let me take you guys back into the property. <laughs> he almost sounded French right there. He was like, let me take you. Sit down, watch a movie. I can't do a French accent. Ludwig, please don't roast me. Enjoy. Let me take you guys. <laughs> he sounded so French there. What the heck? Back into the property. As I'm walking in, I'm Let already remembering. Let me take you guys <laughs> back into the property. As I'm walking in, I'm already remembering other details I wanted to mention. Walls are very clean Let in terms of like outlet. Ready, Mikey? Oh, that's cool. Every primary bedroom closet should have a. That was everyone's reaction. Wow, that's cool. Anyways, washer and dryer. This is like the best amenity. Yeah. It's such a convenience. All right, ready, Mikey? Pocket door, closing off the primary bathroom. <laughs> he was gonna so lock him in there. you have two access points to this bathroom, one from the hallway, main hallway, one from the closet of this home, the steel place a little bit closer here. Is that I a like gym? The they have an actual gym? That's cool. Look. Some built-ins, fridge set up here as well. That's cool. And That's the, This is the way that a gym should be set up. I wanted to have this cork flooring because he works out here. He utilizes this uh, span for his workouts. No. Yeah. Who was that? Did you see down here in the corner? Look, watch. Somebody just runs away. He works out here. He utilizes this uh, span for his workouts. <laughs> this room out of all the primary bedrooms we have ever seen on this channel. Without that a looks, yeah, that looks really cool. Is my favorite. That's a bold statement, but I can see why you say that. It looks very simple at first glance, but there's a lot of hidden features, amenities, and you can't beat these views. Uh, without a doubt. I mean, the way it's been engineered, how it's like literally floating above the entire city. 
it's certainly not the biggest primary bedroom we have ever seen. So do you just not get to have a TV in your bedroom? Seems kind of kind of weird. Or but weird. it's just the right size. We have this automatic sliding glass doors also here. Do they actually? No, balcony. they don't actually go that fast. As if. And now let's fast forward a few more hours. Wait for the sun to go down so we can see this place at night. Oh, heck yeah. I always love the lighting and pools. It always looks really cool. I'm just a simple man. I live in a studio All right, apartment. Everyone.